Okay. Well, sorry about the camera shake. Can't be helped, I'm standing on top of some gravel trying to film this. But there's Walney Channel. Beyond that, the northern end of Walney Island. And beyond that, the Irish Sea. So I'll just take it across slowly, uh, just so you can take in that view. Because I did promise I would come out here at high tide and let you get a glance of this lot. Right, across there, that's the Dun Estuary. And that uh, is one of the high fells of Furness. Sorry, not Furness, South Cumbria. <laughs> that's Black Coombe, actually. Oh, losing me footing. That's Black Coombe. Uh, nestled at the bottom of Black Coombe is a small town called Millam. You can look up any details of Millam and the Dudden Estuary, Walney Channel and so on on the internet. There will be films uh, provided by better filmmakers than me uh, on YouTube. Alright, now at the north end of Walney there as a nature reserve, most famous for home of the Natterjack Toad. Again, you can look that up on the internet if you're interested. Uh, I can't provide you of any more details about the flora and fauna of North Walney. I'm not a, a naturist. I'm not a naturalist either, come to that, though. On a day like this, it would be rather nice to get all your kit off and go follicking around in the all together. Now, it's never been my scene, really. <laughs> right, so that's it. So I'm now going to uh, risk making you sick by taking you back into the car just to finish this little bit off. Okay, so bear with me. There we go. Here we go. Right. And in God's truth. Now somebody, I'm sure, somebody's going to ask me, why don't you turn the camera off and <laughs> why don't you turn the camera off and then carry on filming once you've got in the car? Well, I'll tell you, because I haven't had time really to get to grips with iMovie, which is where I transfer the, any videos that I take. But I will get round to it uh, once I have finished all the other more urgent tasks that uh, are demanding my attention. Yesterday, for example, I wasn't happy about that film, but I'd said what I needed to say, and so I, I just let it go. You probably saw that hiccup at the beginning of the film. Well, you probably saw the state I was in, looking very dishevelled and so on. Well, I was tired, I was hot, I was sweaty, and I was hungry. <laughs> I'd put in some graft on half a ton of uh, damp uh, red earthenware clay uh, left over from the uh, hectic pottery days. Well, there won't be any more hectic pottery days, so I don't need all that clay now, so it's got to go. It's clay that has been used before. I could reprocess it, but it's very time consuming. And it's easier for me to buy a, a bulk load in and I can get 25 uh, kilograms of clay for just over three pounds. So it isn't worth my time and effort to recondition clay. Certainly not in the quantities that I'll be using it in the future. All right, so I've just got a few minutes uh, left now. So. Um, there's somebody I admire on YouTube, and I tune into him very frequently, actually. And he's the artist taxi driver. 
he also goes under the name of Chunky Mark, that's with an N, Chunky, not Chucky as some of them call him. He's an artist, taxi driver, well artist because he's a street performer and I've seen some of his stuff and he's good. Uh, and he's also a taxi driver, he conducts uh, a monologue. Uh, in his taxi about various things that are happening in the in the country, especially attacking this current government. And he can't understand why people are not really agitating against this government and campaigning against the austerity measures that are being imposed, and which, by the way, are not necessary. It's a political ploy. But he understands that, and I certainly understand it, but the majority of the population don't. There is a movement at the moment called the People's Assembly. So if you really want to get involved, if you want to get involved, find out where the nearest People's Assembly group meets and join them and get in campaigning. You won't find one here in Furness. No chance. People's Charter? Didn't want to know about that. No, 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 no. Uh, pensioners campaign? No, 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 no. Uh, save our hospital? You'd have thought that would have got people stirred up, wouldn't you? Not really. There was a big thing about um, the maternity hospital. Yeah, the local MP got onto that one. At least his wife did. She was good. I'm not, cri I'm not uh, criticising her for that. She, did, she ran a good campaign. But then, of course, like everything else in this town, it's a five-minute wonder and it fizzled out. Anyway, if you tune into the uh, artist taxi driver, a word of warning. He's very shouty and he's very, very sweary. He makes um, much use of the F word. Well, I don't, not because I'm a prude, but because, well, I just don't like using it and that's all there is to it. I can use it <laughs> when so provoked, but uh, not on occasions like this. Um, in the 10 minutes that I've got, I just like to say what I need to say, and, and that's the end of it. So anyway, apologies for my, the way I looked yesterday, and some of the cock-ups I made on it, and, but there it is, you get me, warts and all. Right? I don't pretend to be anything that I'm not. So anyway, I'm going to have to go now, because I'm running out of time. So, until the next one, cheerio.